The lady asks me, I speak in season. She seeks a reason for an affect wild often that is so proud he hath love for a name. Who denies it can hear the truth now. Wherefore I speak to the present knowers, having no hope that low-hearted can bring sight to such a reason. Be there not natural demonstration, I have no will to try proof bringing, or say where it hath birth, what is its virtue and power, its being and every moving, or delight whereby it is called to love, or if man can show it to sight. Where memory liveth, it takes its state, Formed like a diaphan from light on shade, which shadow cometh of Mars and remaineth, created, having a name sensate, custom from the soul, will from the heart, cometh from a seen form, which being understood taketh locus, and remaining in the intellect possible, wherein hath he neither weight nor still standing, descendeth not by quality, but shineth out, himself his own effect unendingly, not in delight, but in the being aware, nor can he leave his true likeness of our where. He is not virtue, but cometh of that perfection which is so postulate not by the reason, but is felt, I say. Beyond salvation holdeth his judging force, deeming intention to be reason's peer and mate, poor in discernment, being thus weakness friend. Often his power cometh on death in the end, be it with stayed, and so swinging counterweight, not uh, that it were natural opposite, but only ride a bit from the perfect. Let no man say love cometh from chance, or hath not established lordship, holding his power even though memory hath him no more. Cometh he to be when the will from overplus twisteth out of natural measure, Never adorned with rest, moveth he, changing colour, either to laugh or weep. Contorting the face with fear, resteth but little. Yet shall ye see of him uh, that he is most often with folk who deserve him, and his strange quality sets sighs to move, willing a man look into that formed trace in his mind, and with such uneasiness as rouseth the flame. Unskilled cannot form his image. He himself moveth not, drawing all to his stillness. Neither turneth about to seek his delight, nor yet to seek out proving, be it so great or so small. He draweth likeness and hue from like nature, so making pleasure more certain in seeming, nor can stand hid in such nearness. Beauties be darts, though not savage. Skilled from such fear, a man follows deserving spirit that pierceth. Nor is he known from his face, but taken in the white light that his allness toucheth his aim. Who heareth, seeth not form, but is led by its emanation, being divided, set out from colour, disjunct in mid-darkness, grazeth the light, one moving by other, being divided, divided from all falsity, worthy of trust, from him alone mercy proceedeth. Go, song, surely thou mayest whither it please thee, for so art thou ornate that thy reasons shall be praised from thy understanders. With others hast thou no will to make company. 
called thrones, Balasho or Topaz. Ryujina was not understood in his time, which explains perhaps the delay in condemning him. And they went looking for Manichaeans and found, so far as I can make out, no Manichaeans. So they dug for and damned Scotus Ryujina. Authority comes from right reason, never the other way on. Hence the delay in condemning him. Aquinas head down in a vacuum. Aristotle, which way in a vacuum? Sacrum, sacrum, in illuminatio coitu. Lo sordel si fo di Mantovana from a castle named Goito. Five castles. Five castles. King, give him five castles. And what the hell do I know about dye works? His Holiness has written a letter. Charles the mangy of Anjou, way you treat your men is a scandal. Delectis miles familiaris castra monti sodorisi monti sancti silvestri palete epile in partibus thetis. Vineland, land till the land in cult, pratis nemoribus pasquis with legal jurisdiction is heirs of both sexes. Sold the damn lot six weeks later, Sordellus de Godio, con bel albir e monoric pensament.